In this video, we will show you how to replace your downstream O2 sensor on this Nissan Altima. This will be mounted to your exhaust under your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Safely raise and support the vehicle so you can make your way underneath. Now if you were to look underneath the engine area, there should be a plastic cover that makes their way across here. Ours is missing. Typically for these, they have several push clips that you'd want to dislodge and remove the shield. Once you've done so, we'll be having a look in this area. Now that you have the shield out of the way, we're going to be looking for the downstream O2 sensor. Obviously it is attached to the exhaust, so you want to make sure it's cool to the touch and your vehicle has not been running in a while. Now once we've done that, we can start dislodging the wiring harness. You'll find that this is held in place to a bracket. You can gently pull that out. Now we'll follow it up to the connector area, which is also mounted to this bracket. To remove it, you can use a trim tool or a small screwdriver, whatever you have handy. With that separated, we're going to disconnect this now. It does have one locking tab that you will have to squeeze to remove. Squeeze on that tab. Hold the upper wiring harness. There we are. You always want to give both ends a quick inspection for corrosion. Now let's continue on to removing the O2 sensor from the exhaust. We'll use an O2 sensor socket for this. Let's start unscrewing this from the exhaust pipe. And there it is, friend. Let's clean our hole. Just give that a quick inspection. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new downstream O2 sensor. Before we install it, you want to ensure that it does have a coating of anti-seize on the threaded area, but never on the sensing agent. We'll take this and start it in by hand, making sure that we do not twist the wiring. Just gotta get it lined up. Use your O2 sensor socket to tighten this up. Now keep in mind this does have a crush gasket on it. So you want to ensure that you do bottom it out and then take it just a little bit further. Double check to make sure you're completely seated. It's connecting our electrical connector here. Line it up, press it in. Listen for a click from that. We'll give it a light tug to make sure it is secured. Now we'll secure that wiring harness in. We want to make sure that the connector is pressed into this bracket. And we also have the rest of the wiring here. We'll take that wiring and slide it right through this. You may notice that you have a little bit of extra wiring. You don't want to leave this dangling where it might potentially get hit up against the exhaust and melt or get damaged in any other way. We'll just take that wiring, carefully roll it up, and now we'll use a wire tie to hold everything in place, making sure that there is still a little bit of slack so we do not crimp any of the wiring. Once again, we're making sure that we are not crimping the wiring in any way. Let's trim off the excess. The next step would be to reinstall your shield under this area. Use all the push clips and make sure that it's secure. Once you've done that, make your way out from underneath the vehicle, start it up, let it run for a while, and make sure you don't have a check engine light. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.